Ladies and gentlemen, hogweed is about to explode across Canada. Mm-mm-mm. So the plant that causes third-degree burns about to bloom in Canada. You know what makes me laugh, y'all? Now, this article came out May 31st, 2019. These folks actually believe they're going to eradicate this plant. They're not. Do you know the seeds can actually lay dormant on the ground for 30 years and then just out of nowhere start blooming? Okay, that being said, how the hell are you going to eradicate something like that? You can't, okay? And not only that, you would have to eradicate it worldwide in order for it to work. But if you think <laughs> you want to eradicate something that can throw leaves all, I mean, not leaves, but seeds all over the ground that can lay dormant, for all those years, there is no possible way, none, that you're going to eradicate a damn thing. But this is the kind of nonsense they are talking. So giant hogweed is not new to Canada, but every summer unsuspecting residents come into contact with the dangerous plant leading to rashes, burns, and extreme cases, blindness. The plant is preannual, which means it comes back every spring and it starts to bloom in June, reaching its height of up to five meters in the right condition. Every year, officials both in Canada and the U.S. warn residents not to touch the plant, which pops up in large numbers on both sides of the border, although it has not been found in Canadian territories. Giant hogweed is often mistaken for wild parsnip, which also burns, by the way, because I did some stories on that. Another plant that can cause blistering burns and is native to all providence. Its appearance is often described as a larger version of Queen Anne's lace. Okay. So... Canada, just like the U.S., is saying the giant hogweed is the most dangerous plant. I see that stuff all in my state. I see it. I see it every year in my state. You know? And like I said, I, I, I can't see them getting rid of this stuff. It, it, it's just too difficult to do it if you don't know where the seeds are. Okay, so even if you pull up the plants or have the plants eaten or whatever, you still didn't do nothing about the seeds that are dormant on the ground. Okay, so it's asking people to document sightings which have been spotted flowering in the Atlantic province, uh, Quebec, Ontario, and British Columbia. Wow, they are so much in fear of this plant to the point where they're asking people to document where they seen the plant. Wow, that says a lot right there. When combined with sunlight, sap from the plants can cause extreme skin irritation, temporary or permanent blindness and scarring. Burns acquired from the plant can continue to cause painful blisters when exposed to sunlight for up to a decade. Can you imagine having something on your skin that can burn up to a, 10 years? So those areas where you're burnt by the hogweed, every time you go out in the sun for the next 10 years will burn? Woo, man, mm -mm -mm. that's a mess. While reports in Canada have been minimal, a woman in Renfrew, Ontario, was told in 2014 that she would have to avoid direct sunlight for three years after being badly burned by wild parsnip, which belongs to the same family as hogweed, 
giant hogweed was introduced to Canada via Asia. And it has thrived in our uh, various climates because <laughs> it's a very resilient plant. You should come into contact with the plant, wash the area thoroughly with soap and water and avoid sunlight for 48 hours. If you think you've been burned by giant hogweed, see a physician immediately. Giant hogweed sightings can be reported to the Ministry of Natural Resources. This is a pre-bloom hogweed. Mm -mm -mm. Giant hogweed post-bloom. Yeah, those plants get really tall. Look how covered up this dude is. What is this? Removing an 18-foot hogweed plant. Watch what happens. All right. So let's watch what happens, y'all. All right, let me see if I can get the sound on. Oh, hazmat suit. Well, it's all because of this plant behind me. It's called giant hogweed. You may or may not have heard of it. And what you may or may not know about it is that it is incredibly dangerous. This plant can actually burn your skin. There are reports that it can actually cause blindness. And it can be found in your backyard. Giant hogweed is mostly found along the creeks and rivers. So if you have a property that backs onto a creek or backs onto a river, you might have giant hogweed down in the floodplain close to the water there. The sap of the giant hogweed on your skin removes all your skin's protection from the UV rays. So it really makes your skin sensitive and you can get really severe burns after exposing it to the sunlight. Giant hogweed really lives up to its name. Giant hogweed is always well over six feet tall whenever it blooms. Sometimes it's 14 feet high. So the plant we have beside us here, this is about over seven feet right now and it's just started to flower. If you get close enough to look at the stem, you'll want to look at the stem and see dark purple models where the leaves join the stem. And that's another key characteristic that's not shared by other plants. If you do come in contact with giant hogweed, you want to make sure you wash the sap off as soon as you can and do not expose that area to sunlight for at least 48 hours after the exposure. If you do want to remove the hogweed from your property yourself, make sure you're wearing a protective suit and make sure you get to it early. Get to it at the beginning of the spring, you know, May and June when the plant is small and certainly not this big. Now, for more information on giant hogweed, you can always head to the Conservation Halton website. For the Weather Network, I'm Emily Vukovic. Damn. You got to do all of that <laughs> around a giant hogweed. She got all that shit on. Like it's raining. She looked like she's prepared for the rain. But that's how much they fear this plant, y'all. They are actually scared of this damn thing. Yeah, I mean... It's going to happen. I'm sure it's even in Mexico. I mean, this thing is worldwide, y'all. You know, I was reading about that. Um, probably like the end of last year. And it was saying that hogweed is worldwide. It's worldwide. So there is no eradicating this stuff from the planet. It is just none. You know, there's a reason why it's here. You know, everything has its purpose, including the giant hogweed plant. It has a purpose in being on this earth. So we may not, we know what it is. Some of us know what it is, but it has its purpose. But ladies and gentlemen, I'm just laughing at how much they are in fear of this plant. They are in such fear. Even politicians last year were, were talking about eradicating this stuff. But again, if the seeds can lay dormant for 30 years, how do you eradicate something like that? You you just simply can't. You can't. You know, 
Not unless you're going to spray something in the soil and then make the soil toxic to everybody. That don't sound too smart. But, you know, we are talking about the high IQ, y'all. Or the lie IQ. But please tell me what you think, ladies and gentlemen, about this hogweed that's about to go into full bloom across Canada. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell. And I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.